I'm missing every single shot. Jeez. There we go. Probably let him soak up some torpor there. Okay. okay. Alrighty, guys. So, welcome back to Ark. Where today, I finally had a Quetzal over 100 spawn in. We had a 120 Quetzal spawn in. It's male. I haven't had the ability to check its stats... Although I am thinking that we might not even bother to try. Because it's the only 120 I've seen. And so, yeah. I also just realized I only grabbed I only grabbed the kibble out of the fridge and just realized I about left without anything else. I don't even have bullets for the shotgun. Okay, where did I put everything? Alrighty, so I got all the stuff I need. Let's go. Boom. So, I completely forgot that uh, when we went and did the boss fight, I threw all my stuff in that inventory. I legit yesterday, I saw that that 150, uh, I can't even remember, I can't even remember what they're called. But that one 150 spawned in, I noticed it, and I decided, alright, let's go get it. And I realized that I had no shotgun ammo, no, yeah. I was only focused on food. I still even had my element on me. I could have died with my element on me. But luckily I didn't. Luckily now that is put away somewhere safe. And I am thinking I need to go in and figure out how to change the single player drops for uh, the Broodmother, the Megapithecus, and the Dragon. So that way I can still get some stuff. You know? Because I need to... Okay, so the way I had it set up my previous time is that you would go into a program called beacon you would take it it would set it up and so I had it so that way the brood mother would give me basically her max amount of element to the what was it the megapithecus is max amount of element then the same thing with the megapithecus to the dragon then so on and so forth with all the bosses and then I also made it so that way they could drop us tech gear that way I had stuff to use in blueprints that would be decent to use against the overseer. And well, that's what I need to go do. And I think I might do that after this episode. So I don't know. But here's that Quetzal. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck has happened to you? I'm not the only one that notices this, right? What happens if I shoot? Um. Something doesn't seem right here. Like, it looks like it's folded in on itself. I don't even know if I could hit it. Okay. Hold up. I don't... What has happened to this guy? Okay. I know that you can hit it. What has happened? It would be so much easier if I could actually hit this guy. Um... I might have to go do something to him. Let me try and like re unload like unload him. Like I don't understand what happened to that Quetzal. Like you guys can see, like it's clearly busted here. What the heck? Early early access games be like. There we go. Oh, look at that. He's fixed. I can see him. Okay, I just had to unload him, and then he he must have had an air loading in. There we go. Now, as I've learned on top of the Rhino, aim slightly higher than where you want to hit because the bullet basically hits at the very bottom of the reticle. Basically. And I don't know if this is going to... I don't know if he's going to be safe when he falls. He might just get immediately swarmed by raptors. 
you know. I also probably should not have hit him with the Rhino Nanthia. But I was also just checking to make sure I could, like, actually hit him. And it was just, again, a bug, bro a bug with his hitbox. Or loading in. With... Okay, so we've gotten several... I wonder, can I... Get a shot on your head? I was wondering, that's going into your wing. I should probably just focus on body shots so I don't uh, miss too much. That, I, as I said that, I went for another headshot. Uh, yeah, those are just all body shots. Let's just focus on body shots. Uh, this might be a good place for you to fall. Because as soon as you... If you get into the Redwoods, it's going to be a very bad place for you to fall. I mean, you're going to get swarmed by raptors. All that, dude. Please don't go into the Redwoods. Also, I've been thinking I need to make a base, a water base. And I don't know if I really should keep the treehouse base. Because it's laggy. Like, the treehouse base is laggy. Like, it gets so much lag over there. If I look straight up in the base, like, and load all of it, like, in one screen, it causes so much... I'm missing every single shot. Jeez. There we go. Probably let him soak up some torpor there. Okay, 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 okay. Did he land on a cliff? If... Is he on a cliff? He's on a cliff. Okay. Okay. We need to do... Is this... Land above him? No. Ranio, I need you to... just saw it. Where is it? And here. Okay. Okay. That was kind of expected. I can probably figure out, though, how to jump around. Yeah, I can do it. See... And then... Ah, oh, it tells me to move closer. Can I at least get... The, you know, let's... While we're doing here, we're in a safe spot. Let's pull the Quetzal up. Taming in progress. Boom. His unconsciousness is dropping a bit. So, I have dropped my taming down to two times instead of four times, like it was last episode. Because that one guy got an insta-tame. And I did not want him to. Like, I honestly thought that would be one or two feeds. Well, not one or two. Two or three feeds. I can't get my guy. I'm going to actually have to whistle at him to move. Can I access your inventory? Hold up. Can I climb the... Qu climb in the Quetzal. Okay. We are legit quiet climbing up the Quetzal's back. Or its wing. That is awesome. I'm glad I got... I'm recording this. This is so good. Okay. I think the trick is here to just wait. Let you starve up. Because I forgot cryopods, didn't I? I did. That's what I was forgetting when I left base. I knew I was still forgetting something. Turns out it was cryopods. I forgot the cryopods.
Alrighty, so we're down to about, what is it? We're over 200 down now on the food. And I'm hoping he eats. Okay, two times actually is probably good. Two times, I'm good with two times. Because I just starved him for a hot minute and that worked. Um, but it was not an insta-tame. So I'm going to quickly drop him 18 narcotics there. And that should be fine for now. I think he's going to... He's got like two more feeds on him, doesn't he? He's still at 100% efficiency, which is awesome. That's great. Uh, Ryan, I'm pretty sure as well I can just jump up and over to my Rhineo now. As soon as this guy tames. Uh, I still have not ran and got cryopods. Still have not. Also, I'm thinking for next episode... I was going to do, uh, what is it? I was going to do a water base build, but because this guy has spawned and I have the resources and I actually even pretty sure I have a pretty decent platform saddle from the drops. Um, I might do a Quetzal build where we do a base build on the back of the Quetzal. Okay, so he's got one more feed left. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have to give him any more narcotics. He's getting close. I think it once it gets down to 2,675, if I'm correct, he should eat. So we're really close. But yeah. Anyways, I think this is probably a good time to do this. So if you guys don't know, we are currently running a members goal and a sub goal for the channel. So for the members goal, what that is, is we are trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. It's only $1.99 to join. And for those who sign up, you guys will be able to play on the ARC server as soon as it launches. And that is actually the goal. So as soon as we get 10 uh, YouTube channel members, we will be launching an ARC server for you all to go play on. Also, I have a sub goal. Now that sub goal is... We are trying to get 10,000 subs this year. Last year, I set the goal for 1,000, and you guys crushed it. So I'm pretty sure we can hit 10,000. And he should eat here any second now. Yes, there we go. Quetzal is mine. Let me make sure I don't forget my kibble on you. I've been great at doing that. Did you snatch one while I was... Yeah, you can just eat those. I should probably not have let you do that, but yeah, I can make more. Although, I need to get my farm set up better. My farm is a little trash right now. Ugh. My farm keeps dying on me because I keep on, like, running out of fertilizer. I need to go get dung beetles in a cave, but last time I went into a cave that had dung beetles, I forgot my poop. Okay, so we're almost back to the base, or we're at the base, basically. Now, what I need to do is this. I need to go make sure I have a Quetzal saddle. Let's not do that one because that one has UDs bouncing off of it all the time. There we go. And we just got to go check the chest with all the saddles in it. No, that's not. That's this one, basically, right? No. Nothing in there. How about you? No. Nope. I might be wrong about having a Quetzal saddle. I am. I just hit tab on accident instead of pause. I almost forgot about these vaults. Quetzal. Yes. We'll take this one. That's a platform saddle, isn't it? Okay. Quetzal, do not move. Thank you, buddy. Pop that on you. I don't know which one Y is. That's why I'm frantically pressing it. But now... Bought a few. We got us a Quetzal. It's actually a really nice Quetzal, too. I like his colors. Alright? I like his colors. His colors vibe with me. You know? They be vibing. Now, what else I need to do is, is, are they on the map yet? Have any spawned in? 
Because, if you guys don't know, the Valentine's Day event is live. It went live yesterday. And now I need to find the... There's certain... I might have to pull up my uh, stuff here. Love bug. That's what they're called. I'm an idiot. Why am I trying to search heart bug? Love bug. Search. Um, These are all level 100. We'll mark that one. But I want to go grab one of these. But I'm pretty sure... This is going to be it for this episode. I hate, to, I hate to hit you guys with like the event stuff. But I have not really done any of the event stuff. I did a, like a 4th of July thing, I think. I did a Christmas thing. We went to we went to the Arctic for the Christmas event. On a boat, which sucked. <laughs> I was freezing the entire time. But anyways, this has been Gun Chai Mori.